How was whooping cough diagnosed? Whooping cough is diagnosed in three different ways. First, we look for a characteristic pattern of the disease. The child looks generally looks ill. He's got a very, very harsh barking cough that lasts 10, 12, 15 coughs in a row where the child just can't catch their breath. Like a machine gun, almost like. Yeah, so like a machine gun cough, we sometimes call it a staccato cough or paroxysm of coughing. Many times, those children will have had a cold or what looks like a viral infection for anywhere from one to two weeks before that cough actually starts. So that pattern of a viral type illness with runny nose and congestion followed by this period of coughing is the first clue that we're dealing with pertussis. The second is that we do tests. There are two different types of tests. One is a culture, which actually looks to try to grow the bacteria. And the second is a type of immunologic test, which takes a look for components of the bacteria in the secretions of children. Of those two tests, the growth cut test, where you actually try to grow the bacteria in culture, gives you a definite diagnosis, but is also much more difficult because this is a very tricky bacteria to grow, and many times, even with infection, we can't pick up the bacteria in the culture. Therefore, we rely on the immunologic test called a DFA, which gives you a very good benefit in being able to identify even the most small amount of bacteria in the secretions to, di to define the Is infection. that taken from secretions or blood? It's taken from secretions. It's taken from nasal secretions where they actually look for components of the bacteria in the mucus that's coming from the child's nose. If you did a CBC, is something unique in the CBC sometimes? In the CBC, we see certain characteristic changes. The white blood cell count is very elevated, but there's also a very specific type of white blood cell called the lymphocyte that's very elevated in the blood. That's different than most other infections. In bacterial infections, we see neutrophils elevated. In viral infections, the white cell count doesn't rise all that much. So the pattern of a very high white cell count with a very high lymphocyte count also gives us a strong clue that pertussis is present.